Good afternoon and welcome CCIT customers. If you're here right now, it means that you are following all the videos in our series to stay up to date with the latest security and tech updates. Guys, I thought I would quickly give you some information on what's happening right now. Um, uh, after the pandemic has been going on, what's going on at the moment with the ransomware attacks that we've been receiving so much all around the world. Um, so I thought I'd give you guys a bit of insight on what's going on at the moment and what there has been released at the moment in time. Uh, so you can be up to date with all the latest security um, and tech updates that's going on around the ransomware and uh, many other tech news updates as well. Guys, if you're following this video, enjoy it, relax. Let's quickly go through a few of the things in the list which you are going to appreciate. So you can also start teaching and giving information to your employees as well and giving them information to keep them up to date to keep your business safe. All right, so the first one on the list is uh, Brookfield, which came out in August 2020. Uh, first on the list, and uh, it's an attack that actually happened in August uh, from the north side of the border, in uh, which they are actually called Darkside, their ransomware group. They claim to have carried out a ransomware attack against Brookfield Residential Properties, uh, which is based in Calgary, Canada. IT World Canada reports that the company, a division of Brookfield Asset Management Inc., admitted to them that an unspecified data security incident took place. However, it didn't verify whether the attack involved ransomware or Darkseid. Of course, Darkseid themselves have decided to make it known that they were responsible for the attack. So there are a few things that's happening between, the, uh, between ransomware and this team. Um, so that's something to have a look at um, just to make sure just just all the time just keep your your employees up to date with uh, what's going on and what type of breaches are going on right so that at least that they know what they're dealing with and what things they need to look out for and most of the time it's just human error so if you're getting an email maybe maybe it's a suspicious email id rather let your it team go out into the server and block those ID, uh, those ids from the emails on the email server and get the IDs blocked so that stuff like this that comes through, which is, uh, you know, it's an uncommon email address or you know it's not an email address from a customer or anybody that's trying to do business with you. Uh, get those IDs blocked. Let your ID email teams do that or your email server IT teams do that or even give us a call at CCIT and uh, we will get things sorted out for you. And cloud backups, mostly important. And um, while we're speaking about this list, cloud backups, Always, if there's a ransomware attack happening and you've got a cloud backup, at least you can go and wipe that system, get the cloud backup and start implementing the new system right away so you can get your system back up and running. Uh, so that's a really, really good one. So here they said, Darkside claimed Brookfield as a victim. Brookfield Asset Management is Global Alternative Asset Manager, which it's got 151,000 employees and a $69 billion revenue. So you can imagine getting a breach uh, like that in a company like that can be it can have potential damages it can cause a lot of things if you don't have many of the things in place like cloud backups for example that we spoke uh, just about now um, so even the networks the more restricted you are in a network the better it would be for the company because it means that not nothing will be accessed too easily if there's a lot of uh, encryption going on as well um, so let's have a look number two we've got r1 rc and medical debt collections it's a firm, right? So a ransomware attack comes from Brian Krebs in August from Krebs on Security, uh, which says here that uh, they were hit by a ransomware attack. And the company formerly Equitive Health Inc. is one of the country's biggest medical debt collection companies. They contract with more than 750 U.S. healthcare organizations and handle the personal and health related data of tens of millions of patients. So it's a lot of data that they carry uh, through for patients all the time. Uh, so r ones RCM Inc. chose to not disclose the type of ransomware that was used in the attack, nor provide other details about the compromise, including which systems or data may have been compromised. However, Krebson Security reports that the attack used the defray ransomware. Trend Micro describes defray as a type of targeted ransomware that typically spread via phishing emails. And we spoke about the emails just now. See, mostly human error. They can only get all of your system through limited ways and one of them are emails so uh, it's easy to get um you know to, to to make one small mistake on an email and uh, the rest 
well, the rest speaks for itself, you can basically say. Um, so yeah, just make sure about that. So don't get fished. Um, you know, email is the most commonly exploited attack vector, uh, costing organizations millions annually. Um, and through server message blocks, the damage can be fatal in terms of suffering data breaches and going out of business. And that's what you don't want. You don't want to go out of business. So rather be informed about what's going on, know what's going on so that you don't get that same issues happening to you. Um, yeah, don't be another st uh, statistic. Number three, we've got the city of Life Yeti, Colorado, in July 2020. Uh, they paid $45,000 to ransomware operators uh, after their devices and data became encrypted via ransomware on July 27th. Okay, so everything got decrypted and they had to literally go and pay $45,000. And what if your company does not have that <laughs> to actually start doing that? If, uh, if your company is going through liquidation or there's, uh, there's bad things going um, happening in your company, you might not even have the funds to, to pay that to the ransomware operators for getting any information back. Once again, cloud backups. Cloud backups are so important. And the payment was made to receive a decryption key after the city was unable to restore systems from their backups. They chose to go to ransom payment route because it seemed like a less costly and more convenient solution. Uh, why would they choose to pay that ransom, right? According to university uh, official statement. Well, after careful consideration, the university decided to work with its cyber insurance provider to pay a fee to see the ransomware attacker. This was done as a proactive and preventative step to ensure information was not released on the internet. It just shows you um, how quickly something can like that, a small thing like that can come and go, and then you have to make a lot of changes um, to get your information back and not make sure that that goes public or even going to the world, right? Um, yeah, so there's a few of them that has been happening around the world in 2020, girls. So um, cloud backups, number one, blocking IDs on emails, number two. So I'm going to bring more to uh, more of this information to you guys as we as we carry on throughout. If there's any uh, something, any new things that's happening um, that's attacking business around the world and, uh, and making businesses insecure so that they can't keep themselves safe. Guys, stay safe, take care, make sure that your businesses are safe, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now. Bye.